Hello and welcome to your second sheet engine lesson and in this lesson we're just going to go through the next three steps of the tutorial because the tutorial is a great way to learn how to use sheet engine properly. So to start off with obviously get your tutorial open at step 5 the password is 888899 but obviously I wouldn't try this unless you've previously completed the previous steps of the tutorial which is all in sheet engine lesson 1. So I've got it selected in my processes in Cheat Engine. Remember, you just press this button here, go to tutorial.exe, and just hit open. And what we're going to do in step five is the thing is, what we're previously doing is we were just going and finding 100, changing the value, find the next one, and then we'll just change that. But if you're going to make a trainer or something, the address, which would be in this address column, of the uh, value actually changes every time you open the game, which isn't helpful if you're going to make hacks for a game or something similar. So firstly what we're going to do is basically what we did before. We're just going to scan for 100, change the value, scan for 121, and here it is. So this address, 004F4FFC, is my address. Your address is probably going to be different because the address changes when you open the program at different times. So all we're going to do is we're going to right click it and we're just going to find out what writes to this address. Now it's going to attach the debugger, just hit yes. And uh, we don't need this. This blank window will open, you'll probably think, huh? All you've got to do is hit change value once, and it'll say, okay, what happened there is it moved EDX into the value of EAX. Now don't worry if you don't know why it's moving EDX into the value of EAX or what that even means. That's just some simple ASM. You can check out my ASM lessons if I've released them by the time you're watching this video and that will explain that to you, but basically EDX and EAX are just variables. So it's just moving one variable into another variable. And all we need to do in this step 5 is we're just going to replace this change value button so that it actually does absolutely nothing and it doesn't change the value at all. So how we do this is we click on this and then Cheat Engine already has a thing that replaces it with doing nothing and that's just this replace button. So just press replace and if you hover over it it'll say Replace it with nothing. Press OK, and this change value button now does nothing. So just press it, and you'll see the value does not change, and the next one is now visible. All right, so I'm just going to clean up in Cheat Engine, close all windows, delete the addresses, and like that, so it just looks clean. And step six is on pointers. Now, what this is about is we have a change value button and a change pointer button. And we need to make it so that this value stays the same without the pointers changing and the value not and the value being able to change, although we've changed it. Basically, I'll go through it with you and hopefully you'll understand it more as we're going through it. So to start off with, we do the same as we've always done. First scan, change value, 231. Next scan, I'm just going to double click that value. And obviously, again, this isn't the base address, so other things can change this address. We need to get to the highest level address that nothing else changed, so we can change that and that changes everything below it. So we're just going to find out what writes to this address. Just change value. And here it is. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to go to more information and what you'll see is that it says the value of the point you need to find this address is probably 004FAD1C. Now if it's as simple as this instruction here, which is move EDX into the value of EAX, which remember it doesn't matter if you understand, then it will literally be, all you need to do is, I can close this now, search for this address here in our value box. And because the higher level ones, all they do is contain the value of the address, but sometimes they'll have offsets and all that stuff, so don't always rely on that. I would rely on this address here. So we're just going to go for a new scan. Tick the hex box, because this is all in hexadecimal. And just type 004FAD1C. But don't type that. That's my address. Type the one that has come up on yours right here. And then hit the first scan. Oh, look, here it is. And it's green, which means it's static. And usually the green one's going to be the one you want. So just double click it. And, oh look, the only problem is we can't change this. This is a value in hexadecimal. We don't want to change this. It's just going to screw everything up. So what we've got to do is to change the actual value 
like number value inside that we've just got to click add address manually and take a pointer because this is a pointer because it points to this address and the address of the pointer is as shown here so 004 60C34 is mine but yours may be different although to be honest it shouldn't be different since this is a base pointer but I don't know what this change tutorial does it might mess about with the pointer addresses each time it opens so it then says this pointer points to the address 004FAD1C again that's going to be different for you but this is the address that we had before here and that should be the same with you now if the more information box wasn't just something like EAX in the square brackets and it was plus something you're going to need to add that plus something into the offset box here but I think mainly for this step you're not going to get offsets so just hit OK and oh look it's now saying the pointer at this address is equal to 553 now for this step we need to change it to 5000 and freeze it so what we're going to do is change it to 5000 and you'll notice that because it's a pointer it's actually changed this value as well and we're just going to freeze it so now we can change pointer you've got three seconds to change to 5000 we didn't even need three seconds and the next button's now visible and we're done step seven now this is about code injection so first of all i'm just going to clean up cheat engine there we go let's untick the hex box and basically code injection is we inject some code into the process or the program and then it executes that code instead of what it's supposed to do so for example in step seven we're just going to change this hit me button so instead of actually minusing the number from my health it actually adds two to our health so first of all we're just going to scan for the health value change it and scan again there it is again find what writes to this address hit me and aha uh -huh. what it actually does is it decrements ebx add this offset so our health value is ebx add this offset and it's decrementing it which means take away one from it so let's just show disassembler and it'll show us the address and the opcode and all this and just press control a or i think it's somewhere in tools or somewhere up the top here and that opens this auto assemble dialog now just go to template code injection and it should automatically have this address up here in this box so the one that's on the line of the decrement opcode or well, the decrement the health value so it should be selected and should already be in the box just hit ok and it will generate a ton of auto assembler code so all we really need to worry about is let's just delete this original code so there's no chance of it decrementing and let's place our code here as it says in the template so it doesn't matter if you understand the rest of this but this is simple auto assembler which uses a lot of ASM kind of things in it so new mem so this is the bit it's going to change this bit to so it's going to go you know ignore the decrement health instruction actually come over here and do this and we're just going to add and then in the brackets just do exactly what it says in your op code. So mine is ebx add 0000310. Close the square brackets. And then go comma space 2. And all that is, that's a simple instruction that tells it to add 2 to this, which remember we said is the actual health value with the uh, variable add offset. So just press execute and yes and it'll say injection is successful so we can just close all these now and you'll see that when we click hit me it actually increases the health by two each time so the next button's now visible that is the end of this tutorial and have a nice day